All my bags are packed, I'm ready to go I'm standing here outside your door I hate to wake you up to say goodbye But the dawn is breaking, it's early morn The taxi's waiting, he's blown his horn Already I'm so lonesome I could die So kiss me and smile for me Tell me that you'll wait for me Hold me like you'll never let me go Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane Don't know when I'll be back again Oh babe, I hate to go There's so many times I let you down So many times I played around I tell you now, they don't mean a thing Every place I go, I'll think of you Every song I sing, I'll sing for you When I come back, I'll bring your wedding ring So kiss me and smile for me Tell me that you'll wait for me Hold me like you'll never let me go Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane Don't know when I'll be back again Oh babe, I hate to go Now the time has come to leave you One more time Let me kiss you and close your eyes I'll be on my way Dream about the days to come When I won't have to leave alone About the times I won't have to say Oh, kiss me and smile for me Tell me that you'll wait for me Hold me like you'll never let me go Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane Don't know when I'll be back again Oh, babe, I hate to go I'm leaving on a jet plane Don't know when I'll be back again Oh, babe, I hate to go Good night, my friends. God bless you all.
keeps me warm. You folks sing it. Los 
stand alone on some forgotten highway Traveled by me, remembered by you Looking for something that I can't believe in Looking for something that I'd like to do with my life There's nothing behind me Nothing that ties me to Something that might have been true yesterday Tomorrow is open Right now it seems to be more than enough To just be here today And I don't know what the future is holding in store Don't know where I'm going I'm not sure where I've been There's a spirit that guides me A light that shines for me My life is worth the living I don't need to see the end Sweet, sweet surrender Something that I can't believe in Looking for something that I'd like to do with my life There's nothing behind me Nothing that ties me to Something that might have been true yesterday Tomorrow is over Seems to be more than enough To just be here today Yes, and I don't know what the future is Holding in store Don't know where I'm going I'm not sure where I've been There's a spirit that guides me A life that shines for me My life is worth the living
Thank you. Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. In my eyes can make me cry Sunshine on the water Looks so lovely Sunshine almost always If I had a day that I could give you, I'd give to you a day just like today. If I had a song. I could sing for you I'd sing a song To make you feel this way Sing it with me Sunshine on my shoulders Makes me happy In my eyes can make me cry Sunshine on the water Looks so lovely Sunshine almost always Makes me high Sunshine Almost all the time Makes me high Sunshine Almost always Thanks very much, everybody. Once again, uh, good evening. Welcome to my little concert tonight here at the beautiful Apollo Victoria Theater, London, England. Last night I thought I was back at Shepherd's Bush Green. <laughs> you may notice we have television cameras here. They are filming the concert for uh, BBC for broadcast later on, uh, I guess in December. So that's kind of exciting. It's exciting to be back in London, folks. I'm very happy to be here with you. I'm especially pleased to be doing uh, this tour of Europe in the particular format that uh, we have presented here this evening. It's just me and my guitar, sort of the way it all started for me quite some time ago. And uh, it's wonderful to me to be able to, you know, I want to make this just as special and as intimate as it can possibly be when you have a couple thousand people there, you know. <laughs> I have a lot of songs I want to do for you tonight, some uh, old ones that go all the way back to before I was with the Mitchell Trio, some brand new ones that haven't been recorded yet, and everything in between. You're invited to sing along at any time. You are requested to do the song that I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, you know. It's... I really want you to enjoy yourself. I had so much fun last night, boy. 
So I expect to do nothing but emulate or repeat what we did then. I want you to enjoy yourselves too. This is a song about a town unlike London. Back in the United States, some of you... <laughs> let this be our motto, let's let the sleeping dogs lie. Let's let the sleeping dogs lie. <laughs> That's a little better. And here's to the dogs of Toledo, Ohio. Ladies, we bid you goodbye. A terrible song. <laughs> terrible song. I did that song once in Toledo. <laughs> Big mistake on my part. I, I didn't mean to upset anybody. You know, I think it's a very funny song. I think it's very well written. It's basically true. And I didn't mean to offend anybody with the song. And actually, 95% of the audience that night stood up and sang the song with me word for word. There were a few people, however, who were very upset with me. They came back after the show to tell me about it, came backstage, told me in no uncertain terms, actually bruised me up a little bit <laughs> with their purses. <laughs> Three of the biggest women I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Be sure it's true when you say, I love you, it's a sin. Tell a lie. Millions of hearts have been broken just because these words were spoken. I love you, yes I do. I love you. If you break my heart, I'll die. So be sure it's true. <laughs> you guys aren't singing now. We're recording this concert for posterity. It's going to be on television, and you all aren't singing. It's okay. I'll cover for you. <laughs> that song, It's a Sin to Tell a Lie, was first recorded by a fellow called Something Smith. The group was Something Smith and the Redheads. It was my mom's favorite song in the entire world. Well, all of these people don't know. Do you all know this? Some of them don't. Give me a break, huh? You know how when you're a little kid and your mom, you know, you hear that your mom needs a new refrigerator or something like that, and you say, boy, when I grow up, I'm going to get my mom a refrigerator. Well, for me, what I was going to do when I grew up was I was going to learn how to play that song and sing it for my mom. Some 20 years after that, I did a concert at Carnegie Hall in New York City, a beautiful old theater. And it was my first concert there. I flew my folks from Denver up to see the concert, had them sitting down here in the front. You know, at one point I introduced them to the audience, had them stand up, put spotlights on them, embarrassed them to death. You know how moms are, too. She was sitting out there. <laughs> Did that song, dedicated it to her. Freaked her out. <laughs> it was a wonderful occasion for me. It's a 12-string guitar, folks. If you hadn't noticed. Differentiated from the ordinary six-string guitar, this one has an additional six strings. <laughs> oh. 
The only problem with a 12-string guitar is keeping it in tune. When it's out of tune, the only problem is determining exactly which string it is that's out of tune. Then you tune the other 11 to that one. <laughs> that's what I do. What do I know? This is a song written by Pete Seeger about Wales, the western part of this beautiful country. And most specifically, it's about the mining villages in Wales and the church in those villages and how the bells and the steeples of each of these churches has a different color, a different character to it. This was always my solo song when I was with a group called the Mitchell Trio. I didn't get to play guitar very much when I was with them. And so for my solo number, I picked this to sort of work out a little bit. When Pete wrote it, I think his intention was to make the 12-string guitar sound like bells. We'll see. Will you give me, say the bells of Rimney? Is there hope for the future, say the brown bells of Merthyr? Who made the mine older, say the black bells of Ramtha? And who robbed the miners, say the grim bells of Blina. And what will you give me, say the sad bells of Rimney?
Thank you. I had a, a wonderful, wonderful experience this past September that I'd like to tell you all a little bit about. I was on a trail ride with about 40 other men from all over the United States, and we were in the southwestern part of Colorado, an area called the San Juan Wilderness Area. And uh, we rode about of Durango up across the Continental, Demi the Continental Divide, spent about five days out in the wilderness camping out, getting rained on and snowed on and telling lies and stories. And it was just a great, great time for me and filled a truly a deep, empty place that had built up in my heart. And one of the wonderful things that happened on this journey is I met a fellow named Dick Spencer, who happens to be probably the finest storyteller in the world. And he also, like my son Zachary, is half-blooded Indian. And he knows three Indian dialects. Now the thing about all the tribes in the United States, all the different Indian tribes, and even within some tribes, the different families here and there, uh, they had all had different languages. But when they met one another out in the wilderness someplace, they could communicate by sign language. And Dick taught me some sign language, and, and the most specific way that I can share it with you is one of the things that he taught me, which was the Lord's Prayer. Our, all of us, starting like this, and all of us. Our Father, the mother is with a breast. Our Father, which art, which one, which art in heaven. Hallowed. They didn't really have a, a word for holy, but it was like the spirit, the mind meeting the spirit. Hallowed be thy name. How are you called? Watatashe. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom. Now, they didn't have a word for kingdom, so what that became was sort of like holy teepee. Thy kingdom come. Thy will, they didn't have a word for will, so it was thy way. Thy way be done. I like that. <laughs> on earth, all of it. On earth, the same as it is in heaven. Give us... <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Give us this day our daily bread. Patting the loaves, huh? And forgive us our trespasses. They didn't have a word really for trespasses or sins or like that, so it was like people who steal, take from you under the cover of night. Forgive us our trespasses the same as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. <laughs> Can't say it this way. I don't know why. But <laughs> lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And evil you cast forcefully away. Don't throw it behind you. Dick was very specific about that. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't go with the prayer. <laughs> Evil for thine is the kingdom and the power, <laughs> the same everywhere and always, huh? And the glory forever is the sun rolling across the sky. Amen. So it was a wonderful, wonderful experience learning that and getting up every morning at sunrise and singing it to myself as I did it out there in the wilderness and then teaching my little boy Zachary how to do that. It's beautiful to watch that little brown guy do that really beautiful I was this was a week before I was going to do a television show that I've just completed with the Muppets I take the entire Muppet gang on a camping trip <laughs> we filmed it all outdoors I take Miss Piggy on a horseback ride it's just it's a great show 
and I needed to write a song for, uh, for the show, but no song came. On the last morning, we had to get up about 5.30 in the morning. It was still quite dark, and as a matter of fact, snowing on this particular day. And we had to ride up over the Continental Divide and down Elk Creek Canyon to uh, meet a train that we were going to meet some, well, it was about eight hours on horseback, actually. Elk Creek Canyon doesn't sound like much, does it? The most beautiful place I've ever seen. We came down off of above the tree line, the Continental Divide, down into this canyon, and it was incredibly treacherous. Throughout this journey, quite often we were able to ride side by side and tell stories and talk like that. This you were single file, and you were paying attention to what you were doing because you could fall hundreds of feet. It would be all over if your horse missed a step or you weren't on top of it, you know? And you'd come around a corner and there'd be a waterfall coming off the canyon cliffs down here to the river below us. Go around another corner and here's one that spread into 10, 14 different falls and came tumbling down the mountain. Look up here and there's an elk standing up on top of the ridge. It was incredible. All of a sudden a song started happening for me. You know, I don't know what goes on with songs, folks. It's just the most amazing thing. There were these words going on in my head. And uh, throughout the horseback ride, that last day, I wrote this song. You know I love the trail I'm on, the friends who ride with me, the country that we're passing through is a paradise to see. A haven for my spirit, the homeland of my dreams. My heart flies through the wilderness and on an eagle's wings. And though I love the waterfall, the way the river sings. From snow-capped peaks, both proud and tall, through forests deep and green. The highway of the mountains, the lifeblood of the land. I can hear my mother speak to me and hold my father's hand. Durango Mountain. Caballero, take me for a ride On the backbone of this mighty land The continental divide To the place where earth and heaven meet The mountains and the sky In the heart of Colorado The stories and the laughter, they should never, ever end. Forever in my memory, forever in my song. On a San Juan mountain trail ride, I'll carry you. You're sitting on a horse and you're a little bit afraid and you're cold and you're wet and you're riding down this incredible, incredibly beautiful canyon that's so pretty it's moving you to tears and all of a sudden there's words and a melody happening in your head and you start sort of listening to that and playing with it and here comes a line and oh that one doesn't work and you change it around a little bit and 
go along watching all of this stuff and sort of observing this thing that's going on inside your head and all of it, as soon as you get down at the end of it you pick up your guitar as quickly as you can and play it to see if this thing that was going on was just a fantasy or if something was really there and you play a song from start to finish I had nothing to do with it <laughs> you know I feel you just happen to be there when it comes floating by you know I wrote Annie's song in 10 minutes on a ski lift I wrote Calypso, the chorus I wrote the day that I met Captain Cousteau and the day that I first boarded the Calypso and the time it takes to say the words walking around that boat here was the chorus to a song and I couldn't I couldn't write the verses I just couldn't say what I felt I wanted to say you know and I wanted to get it done I was going to do a television show that was the reason I was with Captain Cousteau in the first place and I couldn't get it done for that television show and then I wanted to get it done because I was going to go on a concert tour and I had an orchestra with me and I needed to have an arrangement for the orchestra for that song I had to do it in concert it wouldn't come finally one day I bagged it went skiing made about two runs and all of a sudden I just had to get back to my house and work on the song I got in my Jeep it takes 20 minutes to get from the ski area to my home in Colorado in 20 minutes I had the song walked upstairs picked up my guitar and played it start to finish I have nothing to do with it <laughs> and it's so wonderful when one comes like that I mean I just can't tell you how great far out <laughs> So here's another new song, a love song. Call the thought of you. It's been almost a year since that beautiful weekend It was more than a lifetime ago How it happens to mind after all of this time And brings tears to my eyes, I don't know It's the thought of you And the way it can hurt to be so much in love thought of you brings it all my way and I know that it's late I'm sorry I called I'm surprised to have found you at home it's just once in a while I remember your number I was hoping that you'd be alone for I thought of you and the way you can turn it around with a smile The thought of you Brings it all my way And I know that it's over But I can't discover a way to erase how I feel I remember the nights and the passion of fights and I know that I love you and I always will And I need you to know that I'm always here for you Any day, any night, any time It happened before, it could happen Once more there's a chance that you might change your mind For the thought of you how it feels to be safe here in your arms The thought of you Brings it all my way And I know that it's over But I can't discover a way to erase how I feel I remember the nights and the passion of fights and I know that I love you and I always will It's been almost a year since that beautiful week And it was more than a lifetime ago
I wrote that one on a beach, folks, just a song. I don't know. This is one I wrote in the shower. <laughs> it's true. Title of the very first album that I recorded for RCA some 22 albums ago. It's called Rhymes and Reasons. <laughs> So you speak to me of sadness, the coming of the winter, fear that is within you now and seems to never end, and the dreams that have escaped you, and the hope that you've forgotten. You tell me that you need me now, you want to be my friend, and you wonder where going where's the rhyme where's the reason and it's you cannot accept it is here we must begin to seek the wisdom of the children and the graceful way of flowers in the wind for the children and the flowers are my sisters and my brothers their laughter and their loveliness would clear a cloudy day like the music of the mountains and the colors of the rainbow their promise of the future and a blessing for today Though the cities start to crumble and the towers fall around us the sun is slowly fading and it's colder than the sea it is written from the desert to the mountains they shall lead us by the hand and by the heart they will comfort you and me in their innocence and trusting they will teach us to be free for the children and the flowers are my sisters and my brothers their laughter and their loveliness would clear a cloudy day and the song that i am singing is a prayer to non-believers come and stand beside us we can find a better way. I'd like to do one more song, take a brief intermission for about 10 or 15 minutes. Invite you all to stick around and see the rest of the show. <laughs> this is the Eagle.
I suppose you're wondering what this piano is doing here. <laughs> right about this point in the program, I am too. <laughs> I don't know how to play the piano, folks. I'll be real honest with you. It'll be evident, even more obvious, in just a few moments. But I wrote this song on the piano, and, and I really like the song a whole lot. And I just, it, it's, it's not the same on the guitar. I did it uh, the other day on a television show, Pebble Mill One. And uh, I was sitting there at rehearsal, and all of a sudden there was a camera on me, and I realized that I'd never played piano in front of anybody before. Should have left it that way. <laughs> this is the title song of uh, my most recent new album on RCA. It's about two people falling apart. It's called Seasons of the Heart. <laughs> We have our differences You shouldn't be surprised It's as natural as changes In the seasons and the skies Sometimes we grow together Sometimes we drift apart and Wiser man than I might know The seasons of the heart I'm walking here beside you in the early evening chill The thing we've always loved to do, I know we always will We have so much in common, so many things we share But I can't believe my heart when it implies that you're not there Love is now the reason I must go Love is all I ever hope to find here And love is still the only dream I know In my wildest dreams Imagined it this way Sometimes I just don't know you As a stranger in our home When I'm lying right beside you Is when I'm most alone I think my heart is broken There's an emptiness Many things I've longed for have so often been denied. Still, I wouldn't try to change you. There's no one that's to blame. It's just some things that mean so much. We just don't feel the same. Love is why I came here in the first place. Love is now the reason I must go Love is all I ever hoped to find here Love is still the only dream I know The only dream I
The lament of the crowd was profound and so loud as their hearts overflowed with great pity. But the ambulance carried the cry of the day as it spread to the neighboring cities. A collection was made to accumulate aid and dwellers in highway and alley gave dollars and cents not to furnish a fence, but an ambulance down in the valley. For the cliff is all right if you're careful, they said, and if folks ever trip and are falling, it's not the slipping and sliding that hurts so much as the shock when they're stopping. And so on for years as these mishaps occurred, quick forth with the rescuers Sally to pick up the victims who fell from the cliff with the ambulance down in the valley. Said one in his plea, it's a marvel to me that you'd give so much greater attention to repairing results than to curing the cause. Why, you'd much better aim at prevention. The mischief, of course, should be stopped at its source. Come, friends and good neighbors, let's rally. It makes far better sense to rely on a fence than an ambulance down in the valley. He's wrong in his head, the majority said. He would end all our earnest endeavors. He's the kind of a jerk that would halt our good work, but we will support it forever. Don't we pick up them all just as quick as they fall and treat them with care quite liberally? A superfluous fence is of no consequence if the ambulance works in the valley. Well, this story is queer, as I've given it here, though things oft occur which are stranger. More humane, we assert, to repair all the hurt than the plan of removing the danger. Before it all ends, it's time to begin to attend to these things rationally. Yes, build up the fence and let us dispense with the ambulance down in the valley. Get up, Jimmy Newman, the morning has come, the engines are rumbling, the coffee's all brewed. Get up, Jimmy Newman, there's work to be done, why do you lie there still sleeping? There's a waiting line forming to use the latrine, and the sun has just opened the skies. The breakfast they're serving just has to be seen. And you've only to open your eyes Get up, Jimmy Newman My radio's on The news is all bad But it's good for a laugh The tent flap is loose The pack must be gone And why do you lie there still sleeping? The night nurse is gone The sexy one's here And she tells us such beautiful lies her uniform's tight on her marvelous rear And you've only to open your eyes Get up, Jimmy Newman, you're missing the fun They're loading the plane, Jim, it's time to go home It's over for us, there's no more to be done And why do you lie there still sleeping? It's stateside for us, Jim, the folks may not know We'll let it be such a surprise they're loading us next, Jim. We're ready to go. And you've only to open your eyes. Get up, Jimmy Newman. They won't take my word. I said you sleep hard, but they're shaking their heads. Get up, Jimmy Newman, and show them you heard. Ah, oh, Jimmy, just show them you're sleeping. A joke is a joke, but there's nothing to gain. Jim, I'd slap you, but I'm too weak to rise. Get up, damn it, Jimmy, you're missing the plane, and you've only to open your eyes, and you've only to open your eyes, oh my God, Jimmy, open your eyes.
There's a name for war and killing. And there's a name for giving in when you know another answer. For me, the name is sin. But there's still time to turn around and make all hatred cease and give another name to living. We could call it peace. And peace would be the road we walk each step along the way. Peace would be the way we work and peace the way we play. And in all we see that's different and all the things we know, peace would be the way we look. Peace the way we grow. There's a name for separation. There's a name for first and last when it's all of us or nothing. For me, the name is past. But there's still time to turn around, make all hatred cease, and give a name to all the future. We could call it peace. And if peace is what we pray for, and if peace is what we give, then peace will be the way we are, and peace the way we live. For there still is time to turn around and make all hatred cease and give another name to living. We could call it peace. 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 Last night I had the strangest dream I never dreamed I dreamed the world had all agreed to put an end to war. I dreamed I saw a mighty room, and the room was filled with men, and the paper they were signed. They'd never fight again And when the paper was all signed And a million copies made They all joined hands And bowed their heads and Grateful prayers were prayed and the people in the streets below were dancing round and round. And guns and swords and the forts were scattered on the ground. Sing it with me. Last night I had the strangest dream I never dreamed before. I dreamed the world had all agreed to put an end to war. Sing it again. Last night I had the strangest dream. I had all agreed to put an end to war. I dreamed the world had all agreed to put an end to war.
had the great privilege a few years ago of serving on a presidential commission on world and domestic hunger. I learned while serving on that commission over a period of two years that some 15 to 20 million people starve to death every year on a planet that truly has more than enough to go around. It was the determination of our commission after two years of study that we really do have the wherewithal to eliminate hunger on this planet forever and ever and ever, that it need not exist. Our commission's report said that all that we, all that's missing is the political will to do something about hunger. I disagree with them there a little bit. I think that what's required is the popular will and that when it becomes the will and the voice of the people, that will make it political and we can see an end to this obscenity in our lives. I wrote this song while serving on that commission, and I love the song. As much as it's about hunger and starving, more than that, it's a song of celebration. It's a song of life and living. And what it was for me when I wrote it was what, what's in the cry, the first cry of every newborn babe. It says, I want to live. There are children raised in sorrow on a scorched and barren plain. There are children raised beneath a golden sun. There are children of the water, children of the sand. And they cry out through the universe, their voices raised as one. I want to live, I want to grow. I want to see, I want to know, I want to share what I can give, I want to be, I want to live. Have you gazed out on the ocean, seen the breaching of a whale? Have you watched the dolphins frolic in the foam? Have you heard the song the humpback hears? 500 miles away Telling tales of ancient history Of passages and home I want to live I want to grow I want to see I want to know I want to share what I can give I want to be I want to live For the worker and the warrior The lover and the liar for the native and the wanderer in kind For the maker and the user And the mother and her son I am looking for my family And all of you are mine We are standing all together Face to face, arm in arm we are standing on the threshold of a dream. No more hunger, no more killing, no more wasting life away. It is simply an idea, and I know its time has come. I want to live, I want to grow, I want to see, I want to know, I want to share. I want to be, I want to live, and I want to grow. I want to see, and I want to know. I want to share what I can give. I want to be, I want to live. I want to live. I want to live. Imagine being part of the generation that ended hunger in the world. 
I can. I can imagine that. I was in China a year ago this past summer, and I had a most incredible experience over there. I was traveling all by myself. I spent a little over a month there. I visited most of the major cities in China. I got into Tibet. I went camping one night in Tibet, up on a mountain about 14,000 feet high. Got rained on, got snowed on, almost got blown off the mountain by the winds. Just like camping out in the Rockies. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience, though, and I fell in love with the people of China, the most innocent and open people that I've met since the Eskimos. I was in Hong Kong toward the end of my journey, about to win my way back to the United States, and I was sitting one night in a restaurant overlooking Hong Kong Harbor, which is just spectacularly beautiful. And I was thinking about all the things that had happened to me on my journey, all the people that I'd met, all the friends that I'd made, and the things that I'd seen, and, and again, how much I truly fell in love with the people of China. If I remember correctly, I was about into my second bottle of wine, <laughs> right on the verge of invisibility. <laughs> and all of a sudden, here came a song floating by. You know how that happens. Fortunately, I had pen and paper at hand so I could write it down. I love the song. It speaks straight from the very, very heart of me, from my insides. You know, every place that I've traveled in the world, I find people just like myself. People that feel the same about their children, people the same that feel the same about one another. You know, lovers in China, there's not a lot to do in China. And what people do at night is ride their bicycles. You see young lovers riding hand in hand. It's just, it's wonderful, you know, it's like everywhere, everywhere. Little kids spilling water on the kitchen floor and the dad goes, Ch -ch -ch -ch, turkey. So this song is about that. I think it's one of the best that I've written. It's called Heart to Heart. I haven't seen all there is to see, but I've seen quite a bit. I've seen things I'll always remember, some things I wish that I could forget. I haven't quite been around the world, but I've been around the block. I know the distances are meaningless, like the hands that move around the clock. And I know that love is everywhere, always safe and always true. And exactly where it comes from is where it's going to. Your heart to mine, my heart to yours. Talk about opening windows, talk about opening doors. My heart to yours, your heart to mine. Love is a light that shines from heart to heart. Here I am sitting in old Hong Kong harbor and the lights they're like diamonds in the heavens enough to brighten the darkest of nights there's another side to sorrow as there is to everything like the other side of lonely is falling in love again then you know that there's an answer to the suffering we see and though it isn't easy, it's still as simple as you and me. For you know that love is everywhere, always safe and always true. And exactly where it comes from is where it's going to. Your heart to mine, my heart to yours. Talk about opening windows, talk about opening doors, my heart to yours, your heart to mine. Love is a light that shines from heart to heart, your heart to mine, my heart to yours. Talk about opening windows. Talk about opening doors, my heart to yours, your heart to mine. Love 
was a light that shines from heart to heart. Sing it, your heart to mine, my heart to yours. Talk about opening windows, talk about opening doors, my heart to yours. Do, 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 do. 